in this video i will tell you how to uh, fill your shapes with the fountain fill uh, about the fountain fill fountain fill is a mixture of the colors uh, which are swirling around or there is a radial color uh, from which the color there is a radial shape from which the colors are originating so uh, for this video i'm going to create a basic shape like this rectangle and uh, then i will show you with the text uh, so uh, this is the rectangle and i will select it with the select tool which was already selected but i still used it then i will go to this uh, second last tool from the tool palette uh, this is the fill tool then i will click on it then you will be shown a list of uh, tools list of fills there is uni there is uniform fill fountain fill pattern fill texture fill post script fill and no fill it is uh, right now no fill and i'm going to select this fountain fill and there is even a shortcut key for the fountain fill which is f11 or the function key 11 on your keyboard directly press it on the object when the object is selected and uh, you can apply various properties on that directly so on clicking on the fountain fill you will be shown a pop-up window and in this there has there are various options uh, like uh, the type of fountain fill the angle the edge pad the two color or the custom color blend and uh, there is the uh, option for choosing the midpoint which basically move the color from the left to the right as you can see in this preview window as I move the slider so uh, there are presets of colors that you can choose from or you can create choose your own colors like this uh, let's uh, for the sake of this video I'm gonna choose this one but I'm gonna make the uh, type of fill as square and uh, I'm going to make the horizontal like this so that it looks decent enough. This is basically the percentage uh, to which uh, the distance is to be maintained. And uh, for the blank spaces I have chosen the uh, light sky blue color. Okay, now I'm going to see how it looks. See, it looks uh, decent enough like a uh, uh, fountain fill. Uh, same thing goes for the text also. Suppose I create a uh, an artistic text uh, let's say I write artistic text and uh, let's increase the font size so that we can see the fountain fill then I'm gonna go to this fill tool fountain fill and uh, I'm gonna choose some preset let's choose this one or let us choose this uh, sirens this is some already defined preset canonical I'm gonna choose this canonical I'm gonna choose the color yellow with uh, the blend of green color uh, okay the angle is set and I'm making the horizontal like this one okay sorry I forgot to select the text fountain fill let me just choose a random preset as you can see the uh, the fountain fill is applied to the text but since it is yellow and white so it, it is not visible let me choose another one ok so this one will be decently visible uh, let me just adjust it to some extent okay so you can see that I uh, the text is also uh, usable with the fountain fill and same goes for the shapes for various shapes uh, there are various types of fill and each type of fill is compatible with most of the with all the shapes and most of the text that you choose so uh, you can also choose different colors for the artistic text or the fountain fill for this rectangle so uh, that is it for the video see you the next time